Hey, phone sites users. So let's assume that you're just getting started with creating your first site. I want to walk you through uh, some terminology that's, or basically, I want to walk you through an understanding of how your site works a little bit here. Now, what I'm going to first do is I'm going to go ahead and click into new up here to create my first site. I could go into the template directory and pull down uh, a template and add that to my account. But instead, I'm going to click on um, blank website and I'm going to give this a name. So let's just call this uh, demo of site. And then I have to give this a unique subdomain. So if you're not quite sure what a subdomain is, um, if you ever use Google Mail, for example, Gmail, um, if you ever paid attention to the address bar for Gmail, it's always mail.google.com. The mail in mail.google.com is what's called a subdomain. Um, Google.com, of course, would be the domain itself. So whenever you set up your first phone site site, we're giving you uh, a subdomain off of our domain. And then, of course, you can use your own domain, whatever you happen to, to have, or you can go out and buy one. You can use your own domain to mask or to hide the phone site's domain. But no matter what, you have to pick a subdomain here before you can get started. So let's just call this um, demo site. Not very original, but we'll get over that. Okay, so that looks kind of funny, whatever. Okay, create website. Now, what I want to point out here is if we go back to our site real quickly here, if we just click into demo of site. So when I first set this up, and this is true for every new site, there's always going to be one page that's first created. I can add in additional pages. This is called the home page. Every single site that you create in phone sites is going to have a home page. You can rename this to whatever you want. You could call this like, you know, like uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream or something like that, right? And then you could rename the subdomain. If you went to, into config, you could rename your site, rename your sub, subdomain, no big deal. But my point is, is though, there's always going to be what's called a, uh, a homepage. So I zoomed in here so you can see it's a little bit easier, but right here you got your subdomain.phonesites.com and then there's nothing at the end, right? So there's no what we call subpages. So if you look up here in my address bar, I'm on phonesites.com forward slash edit forward slash demo of site. So that's a subpage. Okay. Now, if I were to create a new page, which we'll do, this is now going to be a subpage of this site. So let's go ahead and select new page. And I'll just pick that random and uh, thank you page there. And then if I go into the settings tab here, this is my subpage URL. It's this random string of characters here. By the way, if my page looks really funky, it's because I, I increased the size of it. So bear with me. Uh, I normally don't keep it this large, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just trying to make it a little bit easier for folks to read. Okay, so this is my subpage. I can go in here and rename this. So let's call this, thank you. And then if we go back out here to the dashboard real quick, go to our site, we can see we've got our homepage and we've got our thank you page. Now, let's assume that for whatever reason, after I go in and add all my content on my pages, let's, let's say that I made a mistake and everything that I want to be on my first page, my opt-in page, where people are going to see that, let's assume that I put all of that on this page here. I put in like all my copy, my pictures, my, um, you know, like my logo, my reviews, my videos, all that kind of good stuff. I put it on this page, made a mistake. How do I fix this without having to just go back in and move all that information over to the first page? Well, now it's pretty simple for you to be able to do this. I'm going to walk you through that process. But again, I just want to really harp on the main purpose of the video here is just to prove to you, or to, not to prove to you, to, to show to you that um, each of your sites is going to have what's called a homepage and then a subpage. Your site has to have a homepage. If you were to give this page a subpage, which you can do, um, then this is going to result in an error for someone that tries to go to your site if you don't have 
a single page set up as a home page. What's going to happen is if they went to demo of site dot phone sites dot com forward slash you know gobbledygook, um, that's going to result in what's called a four hundred four error. It's basically a broken link. I'm sure you've seen four hundred four errors in the past. So to avoid this issue, or if you think you've run into this issue, go take a look at your list of URLs for your site, like I'm showing you here. You just go to the dashboard, click into your site. So let's, let's just do that. I'm going to go to the dashboard, click into my site, and then take a look at your pages. Do you have a, a page that is set up as just a home page where there's no sub page? If you do, then you've got some other error going on. But if you don't have a home page, you need to change one of these pages to be a home page. So right now, I'm going to turn this home page into my new thank you page, and then I'll need to turn um, this thank you page into my new home page. Um, now I know maybe that sounds kind of weird. Why am I going to do that? But again, pretend that I have all my contact, or sorry, all my content information on this page. And I want that information on the first page. So again, rather than have to copy everything over from one page to the other, I'm just going to change these pages and we'll be done with it. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up in a new tab, the settings page for this page. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to settings here and let's just call this. So I'm going to call this, thank you, without a hyphen. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is because I had already set up this page here, this subpage with a hyphen. Um, I can't have two pages on the same subdomain with the same subpage. So I want to be unique. I'm going to just call it thank you without the, the hyphen or the dash. Or, or I could put in like the number two or something like that, right? Or I could give it some other name altogether, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to go ahead and change. I don't know if you know this yet, but um, at the top up here, you can click through these options. I'm going to click on my home page to get the, the other page that's in my site. So let's navigate to this other page here. And let's remove this to make it the home page. I can actually just now call this my, my let's see here, my new and improved homepage. Obviously, you'd want to give it a better name than this. Now, you want to give this a better title than what I've given it and a better description than what I've given it. You'll want to add in an image as well. Um, let's go ahead and add that in there real quick. Because whenever you go to share your phone site's funnel on Facebook, the title, description, and image are going to show up in someone's newsfeed. You've got to make this... Um, it's got to be congruent with your ad and your landing page. It's got to be very enticing. It's got to make someone want to click through the the link preview that's in their newsfeed uh, so that they'll land on your phone site's funnel landing page and then continue reading whatever you have put on to the funnel itself. Uh, I'm not going to put anything real in here. I'm just trying to create something really quickly here for you to show you how you can swap these pages around. So if I go back over here, and let's just refresh this real quick. These are the two pages that we had just adjusted the name. So there we go. This is our new and improved homepage. You can see it no longer has thank you at the end. Now, this was the original homepage. I'm going to rename this to be thank you because uh, it's now our new thank you page. So let's just rename that thank you. And save that. 